Thousands of local and foreign engineers and workers worked for the Karakaya Dam, the construction of which began in 1976. There were nearly 3,000 Italians among the employees. The Italians, some of whom came with their families, established a village of 350 households in the hamlet of Karakaya village, within the boundaries of Diyarbakir's Kungus district, as they would stay for a long time. In this video, we will briefly talk about their story. At the entrance of the village, there are two huts that were used as a gendarmerie checkpoint at that time. The campus, which had three helipads, canteen, movie theater, concert venues, school, hospital and entertainment centers in those years, is now completely in ruins. Here you can see the basketball court. The Italians, who lived in the village for 11 years, left the village in 1987 when the construction of the dam ended. When the Italians left the village, they presented their houses with their belongings to the municipality. However, the unclaimed village has been plundered over the years and the village now has a ghostly appearance. This campus, which was once a lively place where many good memories were experienced and thousands of people roamed its streets, is unfortunately now completely in ruins. Poco cantante, poco cantante, ed invece del fandango, una marcia per il fango, per montagni, per valloni, con le nevi e salioni, al concerto di tromboni, di panvade, di cannoni. Speaking to Sputnik News Agency about the Italian village, Ramaz and Arslankan, one of the residents of Karakaya village, stated that he was only 12 years old when the dam was built and said, it was called Yap San Italian Houses. Approximately 8,000 people worked in the dam, nearly 3,000 of whom were Italians. There were also the Germans. The Italians worked there on the dam, they came and rested there. At that time, there were canteens, cinemas and entertainment venues. There was a guard there at that time. We took permission and went to the village and toured. Their environment was different from our environment. They were more approachable. All the people were getting along well with them. The friendly atmosphere was good and warm. When the Italians left, they only took their jackets and left. They left it intact. After the Italians left, the village was in ruins. <laughs> We took a short tour in the village and tried to capture as beautiful images as possible for you. Let's continue our tour now.
This field, which used to play basketball after work, is now home to goats. Time flies fast. The good times of the past are now just a good memory. We can't go back to those days even if we wanted to. Friendships comradeships and good times spent together. I prepared this video for the beautiful people living those days. I hope I was able to take you back to those days, even if just a little bit. If you want to support me, just subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. See you in the next videos. Goodbye. She said, what do you know the more? Non più vrai questi fei panachini Quel cappello leggero galante Quella chioma, quell'orio brillante Quel vermiglio donesco color Quel vermiglio donesco color Non più vrai Quei penachini, quel cappello, quella chioma, quell'aria brillante. Non ti drai farfalloni amoroso, notte giorno di torno gerato, delle belle turbando al riposo, ma ci sento a tu giro d'amore.